so when I was 15, I think, yeah, 15, around the spring, summer when I was 15 is when some of the symptoms started happening. And obviously they didn't know I had Crohn's disease at that, at that point. Um, the very first symptom actually was in my mouth. And now I'm a dental hygienist, so I watch for those things. A lot of diseases, the first symptoms show up in the mouth. And so I had sores all in my mouth, all down my throat, and they had no idea what it was. It was crazy. So I was actually at girls camp at the time. And it was, yeah, it was, I think it was in June or something, in girls camp. And I had to go home because like my throat was swollen, my mouth, I couldn't eat, it was miserable. And it was the weirdest thing. And so I went home and my, you know, my general primary physician sent me to an, I believe it was an oral surgeon, I'm not really sure, um, just to try and diagnose what it was because it was, it was a mystery to him. And they, they, they diagnosed it as some weird, I don't even remember what they called it, it was some weird thing that happened commonly in Caucasian blonde blue-eyed people it was the weirdest thing and it was really rare and they were like oh yeah it's fine and it ended up actually being a symptom of Crohn's disease so later on I found that out but lots of times it goes undiagnosed for a long time so progressively um, this diarrhea came started happening more and more you know um, many times a day, um, being depressed was another one that started happening. And so my mom took me to a psychologist, thought I was, you know, having issues. And they thought I was all kind of just in my head, the pain, and my sickness, they all, they thought it was kind of just in my head. That happens a lot because, you know, they don't really know what's wrong. And then eventually my stomach symptoms got so bad and I was in a lot of pain that I went to a gastroenterologist and he is the one who did what they do to diagnose things is they do a scope. They do it from the top or from the bottom or both. They did both for me with teeny little cameras that go down into your digestive system and look around and see what's going on. And they can also take biopsies of certain areas that they would like to biopsy. So they did and they biopsied and the doctor actually <laughs> told my mom he thought I had leukemia because of what he saw during the scope. It was so bad. He thought <laughs> I had cancer. And so that was probably not the smartest thing to say to a mom. She was freaking out. Unless you're, unless you're sure, of course. He wasn't sure, so he probably shouldn't have said it. But so she drove me home and I was loopy from the colonoscopy and she just obviously didn't tell me anything until the results came and the results came from the biopsy and it was Crohn's. And so that's finally when I was diagnosed. It was about, mm, not quite a year later, but almost a year later. So basically things were just getting worse and worse and worse. I was at a pretty bad point once they diagnosed me with the Crohn's. The gastroenterologist put me on tons of different medications, like millions, I can't even remember all of them. <laughs> but by then it was too late and that's, you know, a few months later I had the surgery to remove my intestines. So at that point it wasn't called a flare-up because a flare-up is where you are affected with the disease, you kind of go in remission and then it comes back. So that was just the initial disease starting point basically was when I was 16 and I had that. So yeah, the diagnosis is a long process. That is, that is a very common thing with Crohn's is you can be misdiagnosed a lot. Um, because there are different symptoms for different people. Um, th you know, not everyone is the same when it comes to symptoms and so. And it kind of comes on gradually and so they might not know what it is at first. So, yeah. As far as when it's diagnosed, usually in your teenage years. That's usually when it's diagnosed. Anywhere from the teens to the early 20s is when it's diagnosed, when it starts happening. Um, a lot of people can go in remission where they don't feel the effects for years. I really haven't had a lot of issues for a while. I'm pretty lucky. Off and on I have little flare-ups, but it's, it's not nearly as bad as it could be. So I'm pretty lucky as far as that goes.